Hi, this is Janie. Grab yourself something to drink and your little gypsy friend and let's set up a template so that we can cut that fun foam and avoid those rollers on our machine. I have already opened a file and it actually has two layers already in it. The first layer, the blue one, is labeled template. That's going to be really important because we're going to set up a series of lines that allow us to know where the, the rollers are going to go on our mat so that we can actually have the least amount of compression of our fun foam. The next thing I have I've so, um, brought in one of the rectangles from Gypsy Wandering. It doesn't have to be perfectly square, it can be a rectangle, it's only for a background. Next thing I want to do, turn the real size on illuminating the A and make sure that my little chain link on the height and width is turned off at 2.25 and the width at 12. Okay, those are the dimensions you're going to want depending on what shape you bring in. It could vary, but it will be 12 by 2.25 or 2.25 by 12. What you want is a rectangle that stretches the full distance from this point on your mat to this point. Now we're going to go in to the advanced menu and we're going to duplicate that for a total of five. Okay, now we're going to move them down and I like to go ahead and set, uh, zoom in and set my boxes, the outline of the box, at least on the lower end of the screen and the upper at that one half inch no cut zone. Then I can take and move the rest of these and join them up at the side or very close to it. Okay, let's scan, zoom in there, okay. Now I, you can see that by doing this it shows me that I can actually put just a little bit of space between all of these. It actually helps to um, be able to see the lines as well when you're not so tightly zoomed in. Okay. There I go. Oops. Lost my shape. Gypsy's giving me a little problem tonight. I think she's been feeling a little bit rejected since I've been sick. Okay, that looks fine. Okay, now what we're going to do in order to keep this shape as far as drifting, we don't want any of those rectangles to drift on our screen, we're going to take and we're going to join them. So I go back to my basic menu, join, tap, 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 tap. The blue lines indicate they are going to be joined and I toggle them off. Now, with all of the blue shapes selected, I can move them up or down just a little bit if I need to. And that should actually, it gives me a height of 11.56, so we're really good as far as the distance between here and there. Now I'm going to move, that is our template, now I'm going to move to the cut frame. Cancel that. I told you my gypsy's acting a little funny tonight. And now I'm going to select a cut that I want to be used on my card and my plan is to make a thank you card that can be used for either a male or a female. So I'm going to go into French Manor, maybe, if it lets me. And I like to look for the cuts that are probably just not, they can be a little fancy, a little detailed, but not hugely detailed. And part of that has to do with the nature of the fun, fun foam. French there we go. Okay, I like one of these two as far as a fleur de lis. I think a fleur de lis is a, a just a, a very elegant design. And I'm going just one, taking it to my screen. And now you can see the fleur de lis that I've selected. Maybe. I'm going to want that a little bit bigger. Okay, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to toggle on my height and my width so that it sizes proportionately, and I'm going to make it bigger. Now, here's the tricky part. 
we I don't want it smashed I don't want it crushed so I'm gonna go in and because I want it can be a little bit longer if I put it this direction on my mat I'm gonna rotate it 90 degrees and click OK and now I have my fleur de lis that I'm gonna move in between those lines and close to the edge of the mat let's see what this looks like it is really and truly a pretty detailed cut and I think it's going to be okay but what I want to do is I'm going to go in and click my contours hmm. ah, let's cut it's like, okay all right set up good to go and now I'm going to set up my fun.